All right, so thanks so much for joining today. I'm going to show you how you can create these uh, really cute Santa tags. Um, if you have children that are a little bit older, like my son who's seven, he can read my handwriting and he knows that the handwriting is similar between the different tags. So I wanted to come up with a way where I could still kind of keep that Christmas magic alive. And I created these tags that turned out super cute. Um, it has sort of the nice stamped on there. Um, and you can do the two and then the from Santa Claus and obviously you can make any sort of changes you want Now the first thing to point out is you clearly can't use scissors in order to cut these out. Um, I actually purchased uh, my Craft punch tag from Joanne fabrics um, But you can get other punch tags as well But this is the one that I used and the dimensions of the punch are right down here if you want to see what those are but it is the um, Marvy lever craft punch tag is what I used in order to punch those out. So once you have that, all you need is a browser and Microsoft Word to actually create these, um, what I think is pretty cute tags here. All right, so um, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start, or we're gonna actually create this. And then once you have this and print this out, you can use that little tag punch in order to punch out the tags, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go to File and I'm gonna to go to New Blank Document. And I'm gonna to wanna to change the page layout to a landscape view. Um, then I am going to insert and I'm going to insert a table. And I want the table to be two by two, okay? Now what you wanna do is click up um, as to where this little arrow where you see the, the plus sign with the two arrows, you wanna left click and click on Table Properties. Once you click on Table Properties, you're going to want the columns to be 3.75, not 375, 3.75, and the rows to be 2.55. Okay, um, and those actually fit pretty perfect with that Marvy hole punch. And I just move the table a little bit more in the middle. Okay. So once you have this, um, now we just wanna create some simple text boxes. So we are gonna go ahead and click on insert. We're gonna insert a text box and we are going to draw a text box. And when we cut it out, um, and you'll actually see that, um, and actually let's go back here. When you cut it out, you're gonna to wanna to, um, sort of center this uh, text in front of this additional, I don't know, maybe less than half of an inch um, sort of border here. So we're going to have the font um, definitely over to the right hand side of the table. Okay, so we want to move that over here and we're going to do to from colon. Okay. Um, now obviously we're not going to want a text box there, so we're going to want to click on the text box, click on format, do a shape fill of no fill, and a shape outline of no outline. Next we want to highlight this font, go to home, and the font I used is Mom's Typewriter. If you don't know how to install and download a new font, please watch my video on installing and downloading new fonts. Okay, we want to make this font 16 point fonts, and we want to make this red. Okay, and again, we want to scoot this kind of over um, more towards the right hand side. All right, now we want to go ahead and we could do, let's go back to here. We could just write Emily Santa Claus, but I kind of like um, having different text boxes so it doesn't look like it's done from a computer and it's written exactly. Um, line by line and exactly spaced out evenly. I kind of move everything around. So that's why we're going to go ahead and create a new, insert a new text box. And then we're going to write Emily from Santa Claus. Not sure if there's an E at the end of Santa Claus. Um, and then what we're gonna do is go up to format, do a shape fill of no fill. And again, that's for the text box specifically. So we don't wanna fill for the text box. We don't want a border. And then we wanna go to home. And the font here is homemade apple pie. That's the fonts. Okay. 
And then what we could do is move this over, and then we can have two Emily down there, and then Santa Claus, we can just do some spaces. And we also want to make this a 16 point font. Um, now, if you see here, hold on one second, the spacing is, is quite a bit. You might have to go up to this line spacing options right here, if you saw where I clicked, and do a zero line spacing single. Um, that's going to move things up a bit, and you can even move things up a little bit more. And again, if you you could even kind of give this a little bit as, as a slant if you wanted to make it seem a little bit more, um, you know, sort of written, handwritten. Um, you can you can kind of play with that. So we're going to do two Emily from Santa Claus, and then finally, what we want to do is we want to add in this sort of nice where it's it looks like the stamp. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, as you could imagine, click on Insert a Text Box, Draw a Text Box, and click anywhere in there. And of course, as always, we're going to want to click on Format this Text Box, do a Shape Fill of No Fill, and a Shape Outline of No Outline. And then what we're going to do is go over to our font of Top Secret, and we're going to use the bracket, which is above the Enter key and below the Backspace key. And we're going to write so, nice. And then we're going to do another close bracket. Okay. And then we're going to want to click on this. And this is size 65 fonts. And we want to make this green. And then we, all, then we also want to make it look like it was stamped. So we want it to go kind of sideways. All right. Now, if you take a look at here versus take a look how it showed on the pictures. Um, this this clearly um, we don't want it right on top and we also don't want it right behind because then it's going to look like a printout. So what we want to do is we want to click on this, the text box of the nice. We want to go ahead and click on text fill. We want to click on gradient and we want to click on more gradients. Now from here we want to move the transparency up to 50%. Okay. Then when we move the transparency up to 50%, you can see that it'll go over and it looks like an actual stamp, um, which is the effect that we want. So from here, we can simply um, click on this text box, press the shift key, click on the text box and click on the text box. We can do a control C or you can do a right click copy, click into here, right click, paste, right click paste, right click, paste. Okay, And then from here we can very easily just move these around. And again it's kind of nice doing it this way too because you can um, move the um, move the um, stamp around so again they don't all look exactly the same. And again we can obviously move can tilt these a little bit just so again they don't all look exactly the same here and then we can move this and then we can move these over and we can move this over and then you can simply use the punch and um, cut these out and you have really cute little Santa tags for Christmas uh, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like me um, or like this video on Facebook. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I try to add at least one video a week, um, if not more, depending on the week. And uh, I do monitor the chat, so please feel free to um, post a question if you have any questions. Thanks so much.